All right, so I don't need to read this to you, but I'm going to. It says, one more tool for systems. Yes, we've given you several ways to solve systems of equations. Does anyone have a favorite yet? Like I like Gaussian elimination. What would you You like to use determinants to find using Kramer's rule? I like the formula. I like Kramer's rule. Second order. What did you say? Second order of row echelon form. Row echelon form. Okay. Yeah, put it in row echelon. All right. Um, for large ones like three by threes, we're going to use um, this. I, I think once you learn how to do this on a calculator, this will be your. This is what I always do. If I have to solve something, multiple uh, for some reason for practice or if I'm doing a test or something, this is the easiest because I do my calculator real quick, real simple. Um, very simply, I have A, B, and X B matrices, and then we have that word such that I am telling you that matrix A times matrix X, number one, are possible and it's going to equal matrix B. Okay, I'm telling you that. That's the way it is. Okay, if A cannot be multiplied by X, it doesn't fit this proof. Okay, A is going to be able to be multiplied by X, which is going to equal B. All right, you got that written down? You good? Step one. Very, very short. I think we have maybe three, maybe four steps. Step number one, if I take the inverse of A and multiply on both sides. Now, I'm going to go inverse of A times A times X. Now, are matrices commutative? No. No, they cannot be multiplied. A times B is not B times A. So since I multiply this on the left-hand side of A, what do I have to do on this side? Left-hand side of B. Left-hand side of B. So A to the negative first times B. Okay? And all I've done is multiply both sides by the same thing. We do that all the time with equations. Now, what do I know that the inverse of A times A in either order? We talked about this the other day. It doesn't matter which way I multiply them. Okay? What is the inverse of A times A? It's one. Well, they don't really cancel, and it's not really one. You've got to give me a matrix. Oh, one, zero, uh, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one. One, zero, zero, one. So it's called the identity element, right? It's the identity matrix. So it's going to equal the identity whatever A and A inverse are. It's going to be one, zero, zero, one. Times X is going to equal the inverse of A times B. Now, what do I know the inverse times X is always going to be? I'm sorry, not the inverse. The identity times x is always going to be what? The same as it was before. Same as it was before, which is? X. X. Oops. So we know then that x is going to equal the inverse of a times b. Oh. And there's my proof. We've just solved for x in other words. Now let's actually put that in practice. Yippee. Can you repeat the second step? This one here? Yeah. Well, what I did was I substituted the identity element in for inverse a times a because it equals the same thing. I made that substitution. And then we simply know the identity times x. Yes? Why is the identity times x equals x? Four, oops. Four times the identity equals itself, right? And one times four equals itself, right? And one is the identity of multiplication. We talked the other day that the identity of matrices is one, zero, zero, one times any value it's simply going to equal that value. And it doesn't matter which side you multiply it on. Yes? So that is the inverse identity. Or what is that? That's like the inverse formula. Is one, zero, zero, one. That's the identity element. Uh, the inverse? No, that's just the identity element. So what we're saying is if I take... 1, 2, 3, 4 times 1, 0, 0, 1. And once again, it doesn't matter which way. I could do 1, 0, 0, 1 times 1, 2, 3, 4. 
it's going to be equal to itself. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now, if I take one, two, three, four, and I multiply it by its inverse. Now, we, yesterday we talked about how to find the inverse, right? One over the determinant, switch the A and D's, stuff like that. But if I do, um, in fact, let's just write this, let's do it real quick. I'm not actually going to multiply it out, but let's just do it. Uh, times, what is the inverse of this? Okay, so it's one over, what's the determinant? Minus? Minus three times two. So negative two. Times, and then how do I switch it around? What do I switch to get the inverse? You switch B and A. So I switch four and one. And what do I do to the two and three? Change the sign. Change the sign. Okay, now this is the inverse, right? This is the original matrices times its inverse. What's that going to be equal to? One, zero, one. Zero, zero, one. Why does it look like I think my shoulder did this. Anytime you take a matrix times its inverse, you will get the identity. Well, negative 2, if we're dividing 4 by negative 2, that just gives us negative 2. It's 1. So how does that get us to the 1, 0, 0, 1? So we multiply that out. Yep. So you're saying this is uh, negative 2? I really don't want to go through this whole thing, but you say this is negative 2, right? Yes. Oh. Good small one. There we go. So this is going to be negative 2, and this would be positive 3 over 2, right? So if I take negative 1, or sorry, 1 times negative 2 is? Negative 2. Plus, what's 2 times 3 halves? It's three, right? Yes. What's negative two plus three? Okay. 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 All right. So, how do we use this? I don't know if you have a calculator or not, but um, where did my other screen go? All right. There's an example. Say neither just yet. If you want them, that's fine. We're going to write it out first, and then you can do the math on your own. Exactly. I just want to show you what this means, what this uh, inverse thing means, and we can do this real quick. Okay. So I have that that system of equations, three by three. Is that a seven? Uh, it's x minus y plus z equals two. Oh. Negative 2y plus z equals 2. Negative 2x minus 3y equals 1 half. I tried tonight to make it nice and neat. Sorry. And then, of course, we have zeros here. So I spaced it out to help see it better. I don't know why we do that. My teacher did it in high school and college. Huh? So let's write our three matrices. Okay? I know that my coefficient matrix is just the numbers, right? One, negative one, and one. And then the next one's going to be zero, negative two, and one. And then the last one is And then, of course, you could start your row Gaussian elimination, Gaussian elimination, get the row echelon. Time, but then we can take this times. Now, what are these columns? This represents what? 
x, this represents y, and this one represents z. z. So if I write those column titles as rows times x, y, z, then those, that equals this left-hand side. I've got my COVID, if you, if you multiply it by out, you'd have x plus negative y plus z. You would have 0, negative 2y plus z. See how that works? Okay. So I have my coefficient matrix. I have my variable matrix is going to be equal to my solutions, 2, 2, 1 half. Now, ready for the magic? No, absolutely not. This we'll call A. This one we'll call X. And this one we'll call, I don't know, what should we call that one? B. B. So then I know that X is going to be equal to what? Inverse of A times B. So then I know that X, Y, Z is going to be equal to the inverse of this, which, is, which I, how did I tell you we're going to do inverses of 3 by 3s? Right. Using what you're doing, you're doing your calculator. You don't have to do it by hand. Okay? So it's going to be, you're going to put in your 3 by 3 matrix. 1, negative 1, 1. 0, negative 2, 1. Negative 2, negative 3, 0. Now, on the calculator and in notation, how do I designate this as its inverse? Um, you finish it off and then put a... Yep, here, so Power of negative 1. So in your calculator, you can put in that 3 by 3. Are we putting what in? No. It, this here? Yeah. It just means therefore. If this is A, X, and B, because of our proof, we know that X equals. Okay. That's all that means. Yes? Are you putting the matrix in or just, like, just the matrix? Putting the matrix. There's no determinant here. And then times your B, which we know is the 2, 2, 1. And if you put that in your calculator, you will get your answer. Uh, one, I don't know if I told you this, I told some people, when I'm entering this, if you hit 1 and then hit tab, it takes you to the next column. Hit tab, it takes you to the next column. I find the arrows to be a pain in the butt to use. So tab just takes, walks you through all nine. That's what I do. You should get two fractions and a whole number. Yeah, you're one. Or is one fractions negative? Mm -hmm. Yes. One half. One half. Negative one half. I got it. 
Should be at one half negative one half and one. Right there. Yeah. I will tell you, 100% um, of errors made are putting the wrong numbers. So, yeah. The errors are from where? Typing in the wrong number. Yes, uh, you have an exam coming up. Add, subtract, yes. Are we allowed to use note cards? Yeah, one. Three by five. This is my opportunity to bring up material. I have to make sure I specify it's a three by five, three inch by five inch. Front and back. Not an eight and a half by 11. Front, Front and back, yeah. Three by five. One. All right, you do have to add, subtract, multiply matrices. You do have to find the determinant, 2 by 2 and 3 by 3 by hand. I will expect to see expansion by minors. Um, did we teach the shortcut to do 3 by 3s? Okay, good. Uh, matrix equations, we've done a little bit of those. They're not too complicated. We can show you an example if we need to. Uh, Kramer's rule, 2 by 2 only. I won't ask for a Kramer's rule doing 3 by 3 because that's ridiculous. Uh, I will ask you to find the inverse of a 2 by 2. I will ask you to find solve systems, and it will be open-ended. I don't care how you do it. But the rule is, if you type it in the calculator, what must you do? Show it on the paper. Just show it on the paper. If I just get an answer of x equals 2, y equals negative 3, z equals 1 half, great, you got the work. Take the points off for the, for not, you got the answer. Take the points off for not doing the work, because I'll assume you cheated. Up to somebody else. So show me all of your work. I'll type this up too. So we need to. Sorry. I was just. I should have had a type of program. Okay. And there's the test over matrices. So it's a test. What is the test again? Twenty fifth of April. What's the difference between exam and test? UMKC calls them exams. Oh. High school taught calls them tests. Sounds good. And there is quite a bit of homework that has not been turned in. I know I saw like nine assignments that turned in that I have not graded, but there's a whole bunch more that are zeros. So you might want to get that homework in. The time is yours. Be glad to help you. You can use chalkboard back there, chalkboard up here. If you want to write on the new board to do some homework, that's fine. Just don't mess up. Stop using your fingers. Uh, expansion by minus is really two by two times three by three, right? Is there a way to get the determinant? Oh, yeah. So, what's that for then in the exam? What section is that going to be under? It was under lecture 38, I believe. Well, like, is it going to be. Is that even the examiner? Because you got the 2 by 2 times 3 by 3 by hand. Um, determinant 2 by 2 and 3 by 3 by hand. 
So not time. Oh, it's by determine the determinant of the two by two, determinant of the three by three. Oh, determinant. Oh, and so yeah, expansion of minus three is Okay. Cool. Yes, but you weren't sure. Equations. Equations. Um, it, 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 so you hit the that should be negative one half, right? Yeah, that's all. Oh, no, you want to watch Wow! Wow! How did you get negative five? Because I had one, two, three. Oh my gosh, what's that? So you say that? Okay, then I'm going to be wrong. I'm not going to be wrong. Thank you. So, Jed, you want me to do before or after? I'm going to come back on the 27th. I think I'm going to try to come back to school. I took it a little bit to you. Maybe I will tell you students what you need to do better than it's just before. The test will be ready until probably Friday. So this Friday? I don't know. Because the test is probably this Tuesday night. Yeah, 21st. I'm going to be going to 23rd. Yeah, it's 21st. 22 Okay. Okay. I have it in general form, but only time. I'm actually I missed I was going to do that last night.